Okay. April 5th? Tuesday. Okay, wait. Okay, just go. Okay, is it recording? Yes. Okay, so this is the first uh, test of my ultrasonic rangefinder suit. Um, I built, it's 1149 April 5th, right? And uh, I built six modular devices, and each one of them does the same thing essentially. There's a motor, an unbalanced motor. Can you get that? Mm -hmm. there and there is a, a microcontroller, a 9 volt battery, and an ultrasonic rangefinder. The rangefinder picks up how far away I am from an object, and it sends the data to the microcontroller. And then that tells the, then it sends out varying amounts of electrical current to put, to turn on the unbalanced motor more intensely or less intensely depending how far away I am from an object. And I have six of them, one on each, two on each arm and then two on my knees. Um, each one of them have, has a different uh, scope. So the side ones have a, great, have a large scope. They kind of act as peripheral vision. And the hands are more of a narrow scope and they're more sensitive. And the knees are are kind of in between. And so this is the first test, and so I'm going to try to navigate through my apartment, and you'll have to trust me on this. My eyes are actually closed. Um, and I am a bit biased because I do live here, so uh, it's a lot easier to figure out where things are. So I'm going to do this in a park when the weather's nicer. And uh, And uh, do it in a, in a surrounding that I've never been in before. And it, it works pretty well, actually. It's easy to kind of determine where. So, like, here's the wall, here's dead space, and uh, ceiling somewhere, right? Yeah, here's the ceiling, so here's the edge. And uh, it's kind of a lot of tactile information to be intaking at once, but you get kind of used to it. Um, the only thing I can't really prevent is my feet hitting stuff. I can only really prevent my knees from hitting things. Um, and I suffer the same problems that a bat would have. Oh, see, there was a table there. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> corners are a bit difficult because those kind of reflect the waves, the ultrasonic sound waves, perpendicular to the, the, the emitter. Uh, fleece or soft things really absorb the waves. Um, so that's kind of a bit hard to navigate from. It'd be cool to kind of put this up in a science museum where you could have uh, you could have people interacting with some type of modular environment where you would have blocks, uh, giant foam blocks with with hard surfaces and soft surfaces. Your friends could move them around, and you would try to navigate through the. Uh, through the environment that they made for you. And there would be nets and stuff too. That's how we catch for uh, bats, really fine nets. And you can't really, you don't get any feedback from these if you're next to a net. So it's pretty, it's pretty interesting to actually experience how it feels like to be a bat. Um, and my eyes have been closed this entire time, I promise. So, um, there, there's many more videos to come as soon as the weather gets nicer here in Lincoln, Nebraska. I've had a, a bout of cold, windy weather lately. Um, so anyways, that kind of concludes my first test of my ultrasonic rangefinder suit. Thanks for watching.